In this presentation, we will take a look at a comparison between the allowance method and the direct write-off method. When considering both the allowance method and direct write-off method, we are considering the accounts receivable account. Remember that the accounts receivable account represents money that is owed to the company, typically from sales made in the past on account, haven't yet received the funds for sales made in the past and therefore the company is owed money. We see this amount on the trial balance, in this case $1,191,000. We then want to know uh, information about that, including who owes us that money. We can't find that typically in the GL, as we have a GL for every account. The GL only given us the information by date. Typically, we want to see that information also broken out in the subsidiary ledger, saying who owes us this money. A problem that we have is that the accounts receivable represents funds we have not yet received and may not receive if there is some problem with some customers, we might not get the funds. The question then is, should we be writing off this amount at the point in time that we believe we're not going to be able to receive it? Should we be estimating how much we think is not going to be collectible or waiting until the end of the time period until we determine that something will be uncollectible? The generally accepted accounting principle, the principle that we should typically be using if under GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, would be an allowance method, meaning that we would be writing off or matching up with the accounts receivable and allowance account that would be an estimate showing us what we think or believe based on past experience will be uncollectible on the balance sheet. And that would write down the accounts receivable and not overstate the accounts receivable. And we would also be writing off the bad debt expense then at the point in time to match it up with the revenue at the same point in time. The other method is going to be the direct write-off method, which typically is not a generally accepted accounting principles method unless the amount of uh, the uncollectible receivables is